Good evening, Team Union. Coming to you from my home away from home, which is my office, on um, July the 13th. Wanted to just send out some quick updates. We do not have an office meeting this Friday, as so I'm going to be on PTO on Friday and Monday. But I wanted to give you some tidbits to work on in the interim that you can start working on now. On the Resource Center, on the second floor, you are going to find a report that goes over 51 ideas to get listings. Would it surprise you to know that from January, sorry, not January, June 1st to today in Union, 65 listings came on the market. That's from June 1st until today, 65. So, I wanted to go over some ideas that you guys can put into place to work on listings. And all of these are things you can do. I'm not asking you to buy leads from Zillow or anything like that, but things that you can actually do right now. One of them, circle prospecting calls. Any property that we have that is listed or sold, you can prospect in that neighborhood. Call those homeowners and let them know a property has closed. What it closed for, does that surprise them? Were they, you know, did they have a chance to go and view the property? Did they have friends who are looking to buy in the neighborhood? Get a dialogue going with some of those homeowners. Good chances they may know someone who wants to sell. How will you know that? Because you ask them. Do you know anyone who is thinking of relocating? Have you thought about your next move? Do they have a congratulations, my child has graduated from somewhere sign on their lawn? Number two, go to your past clients and say, I'm putting together an RPR report, a PTA for them with evaluation. Just thought you might like to know what your home is worth now since you've closed. This does two things. It keeps you in front of mind with them like, oh my gosh, so, you know, Cynthia, we, you know, we bought this house seven years ago. Wow, I can't believe how much it's worth now. Thank you for letting me know. Even if they're not looking to sell right now, they might say, you know what? My neighbor was just saying that they're tired of, you know, New Jersey. They're tired of shoveling, whatever it may be, raking leaves. Let me introduce you. This is your opportunity to get to meet someone else. So when you're in the office, come in, print out a PTA, print out an RPR report, print out something that gives them evaluation and drop by, give it to them. That's a pop by, which is free, F-R-E-E, -E, to do. Just come in and print it out. Next. There's an auto mail campaign in your My Weikert email. And I'm just gonna read what it says. Select one of the Boost Your Home Value series. It's a series and you can set up an automated mailing for the next 12 months. It's like that uh, commercial, set it and forget it. Set that up, have it go out and then see when they contact you back that there's something that they liked. You can send out different cards. There's tips on what they can do to improve the value of their home. Simple thing, but it's right there. All you have to do is put in a little sweat equity and click clack and send it out. Next, Instagram and Facebook. If you were on there, are you just scrolling through looking at the pretty fashions and what's on Prime Day like I did today? But if you go on there and your Instagram stories, put a poll out. People love answering, you know, this or that kind of polls on social media. At least I do. Um, you can ask them, are you living in your dream home? I'm just looking at some of the things that are on here. What is a must have for your next home? Have you thought of selling your home in 2022? And then if they respond, have them send you a DM, a direct message. And then that's someone you can answer. But put out that poll, see how many answer. People love doing that. And everybody has a dream home and that costs you 
Okay. Squeeze pages. I know that several of you have been completely faithful in attending Doug's tech labs on alternating Wednesday evenings. Have you put out a seller squeeze page? You create that, you put that out for an area and you can post that to your social media as well. Doug should be your best friend when it comes to these things because he has so much content and he's so great at it. So check on the seller squeeze page or a landing page for that matter as well. Then the open house app. When you're doing open houses, you're gonna see that the flow of open houses may start to change. You may not have 60 people in line anymore. A normal open house was between two to six guests, believe it or not. I mean, we're so used to a hundred people <laughs> being in line that we don't remember that it was like two people. I was excited, you know, two people came in at like five minutes to four right before I was ready to end. But I didn't care. I was like, oh my God, somebody came. So use the app, have them sign up on that so you can follow up with them. They might be saying they have an agent. They might hate their agent and they would love you even better because you'll be able to help them. So use your app, use your contact management system and then respond to them. Send them other properties that are available in the area. And remember, just because people say they're looking in one area does not mean they will always end up there at all. People say, I never want a split level. And what do they end up with? A split level, same thing. Then there are some of you who are writers. Write a blog, your opinions and your thoughts about what's going on in the market, why you think there's a shortage of listings, why it's a good time to sell, post that on your My Weikert website. Again, F-R-E-E, -E. put the blog together, just post it on your website. People are looking at your website. They're looking for things to read or learn about because there's so much going on in the media about the real estate market. They would love to hear from a true professional of how it really is in their local market. Then you can host the class. I mentioned at the other meeting that we already have content. Doug put together great content for a buyer's seminar because we are going to move to having more buyers in a more normal market. Don't you think this would be a great time to do a buyer seminar? You could even do it on Zoom. Amazing. Or do it as a live on Facebook for those of you who are more in tune to the social media world. But there's different ways to get in front of buyers because these buyers will become your next sellers. So we already have the content ready. I'm just waiting for agents to volunteer and say, I want to do it because I will help you get a location. We already have the collateral and we will put together your buyer seminar. I told you there's an agent who did a buyer seminar, decided to do it in Spanish, put all the materials in Spanish and got 15 pre-qualified buyers from one seminar. Just a point to ponder. And lastly, we have a lot of people in our circle that we don't leverage the way we should for clients. Here it says, call all of the attorneys you know, your CPAs, any insurance agents, any investment advisors, and see if you can assist with their clients' listings. Because and they have clients who either a relative passed away and they need to sell a property or they're retiring and they want to sell their property here because they're relocating. Leverage the people you know. That might cost you, what, a lunch maybe if you got a listing from your CPA and you closed on you know, some million dollar property because of one of their clients was moving away to you know, Montana to live by a lake. Maybe that's his dream of mine. But leverage the people in your circle. The people are in your circle for a reason. And if you think that your circle doesn't have enough people in there, start talking to more people and enlarge your circle. Everybody could potentially refer you a client, but they're not gonna do it if you don't ask and let them know what you do. 
because sometimes people will think you are so successful that you wouldn't need this little old, you know, listing that they have. Hello, we want all of the listings. Even leverage the people at your local bank, the post office, give your card out to everybody. So these are just my tips for now. And again, the entire list of 51 different ways of working on securing a listing will be on the resource center. And we're gonna talk about this more at meetings, but I know you're gonna be so sorry we didn't have a meeting this Friday that you wanted to get some information and content from me. So I am here to help with everything. So take a look at the entire list. And if there's something that I cover today that you say, I really wanna take this on, let me know. And I'm happy to work with you and the rest of our team is happy to work with you as well. So when I come back on Tuesday, I'm really excited to see how many listings and listing appointments you have from any of the tips and tricks that we went over. Thanks so much, you guys. Bye.